Hey guys and girls, this is Ryan with VG Fiasco bringing you a guide for the Beyond Epic achievement in Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor right after this. Before we get started, I want to give a shout out to Big Dope from True Achievements for his written guide, and you can find a link in the description if you so desire. But without further ado, let's get you this achievement. The Beyond Epic achievement requires you to get a level 30 rune in Test of the Ring, which is a challenge mode that comes with the Bright Lore DLC. Let's quickly go over how the level of a rune is determined. When you kill a captain or warlord, they drop a rune with the base level of their current power level. Since all warlords are level 25 in Test of the Ring, will start with a base of 25. Killing a warlord grants a bonus of 2 points, while death threats, vengeance, and knowing weakness each grant a bonus of 1 point for a total of 30. So, in order to get a level 30 rune, we will gain intel on a warlord, allow him to kill us, issue a death threat, and then kill him for the rune. Let's get to it! First, you'll need to locate a captain. The fastest way to do this is to go to an ambush, execution, or similar mission marked by a red icon on the map. Weaken the captain until his health bar turns green, then grab him and dominate him. Choose the gain intel option and pick any of the five warchiefs. You may want to take a look at the warchief's strengths and weaknesses to see how difficult he'll be to kill. If you're not happy with the one you got, you can find another captain and get intel on a different warchief. Personally, I like Skok Raid Leader because his weakness to combat finishers is easily exploitable. Step 2. Allow the warchief to kill you to make him a revenge target. Go to the location of the warchief you chose. You'll have to complete a random task to lure him out, so pay attention to the requirements you're given when you start the mission. If you happen to get the mission to kill 20 Urus without taking damage, use the environment to your advantage. Explosion, Karagor, and Falling Rubble kills all count toward your total. Once the warchief arrives, allow him to kill you. It's okay to take damage from other Uruks, but make sure the warchief deals the final blow. If you're killed by another Uruk, you'll have to find the warchief again. Step 3. Issue a death threat against the warchief. Find another captain to dominate. If you want, you can even locate the same captain you dominated earlier. Use the captain to make a death threat against the warchief who killed you. Step 4. Kill the warchief and collect the rune. For this step, it's very important that you understand that you must not kill the warchief yourself. If you do, he's likely to drop an epic rune rather than a level 30 rune, and you'll have to start over. Instead, you need a branded Uruk to deal the final blow. Now, when you highlight your warchief on the Sauron's army screen, you should see two red icons on the left side of the screen. One for revenge target and one for death threat. Mark his location on the map and go start the unfinished business mission. Once he arrives, you'll want to brand as many Uruks as possible. It can be helpful to start the encounter by stringing together shadow brands until you run out of elf shot. Also, you can press left on the d-pad to summon 5 Uruks to help, including a branded captain if there's one nearby. After that, build up combos and spam Wraith Flash. If you notice an Uruk running to sound the alarm, just let him go since he'll bring more Uruks for you to brand. Also, don't forget to use the One Ring ability to keep your combo meter charged for a short period of time. It's okay if you deal damage to the Warchief, even with combat finishers, as long as you don't kill him yourself. Just remember your main objective here is to get enough muscle on your side and then keep your distance while they bring him down. Once the Warchief has been killed, walk over and pick up the rune to unlock the achievement. I hope this guide's been helpful to you and that you'll like the video if it was. If you have any questions or if there's anything I can do better, please leave a comment and I'll answer as soon as possible. Thanks for choosing my video and happy achievement hunting. Oh!